Let's move on to the next question. Uh, the three points A, B, and C are shown in the diagram. Okay, good to know. Now, the point E is such that the line DA is perpendicular to AB. So the line DA is at right angle to the line of AB. And DC is in the same direction as AB. Okay, as we can see here, they are in the same direction. Now, what else can we, uh, can we know? We have to use this information to find the value of, of D, the point D. Now, uh, we can clearly see that the point D is the point of intersection between the line AD and the line CD or DC. Same thing, right? It is the point of intersection. Now, to find this, we obviously have to solve two equations simultaneously because it is a point of intersection. Now, let's first find the equation of AD. So, to find the equation of AD, obviously you must first find the gradient of AD. Because it is at 90 degrees to this line, we understand that we can first find the gradient of AB and then derive the gradient of AD. So let's find this. What is the gradient of AB? That will be uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That will be minus 6 over 3. That should be minus 2. So finally, gradient of AD should be the value of, of half. Now here we have a passing point here which is A, 3, 8, that is x and y, y minus 8 over the value of x minus 3. That should be 1 over 2. Cross multiply you have 2y minus 16 have to be x minus 3. So 2y have to be x minus 3 plus 16 should be plus 13. Right, so this is your equation for your line of AD. So now we have to find the equation of the line CD. So how can you find this? Obviously, we have to first find the gradient. So since the line AB and the line DC are in the same direction, we understand that the equation of the, I mean the gradient of the line DC have to be the same as the one with AB, which is minus two. The passing point here we have C as the passing point, which is 10. 2, this is the x value and the y value, so y minus 2 over x minus 10. That should be minus 2 over 1. Again, this is just a method that I use to find the equation of a straight line. If you have something else, you can use your own method. Cross multiply, you have y minus 2 is equal to minus 2x plus 20. Now continue, y have to be minus 2x plus 22. This is my equation for the line dc. Now pretty simple, we have this, we have this, we just have to solve them simultaneously to find the point of D. So here we have Y, we can replace directly in here, you have 2 times Y, which is this value, X plus 13, that will be minus 4X plus 44 is equal to X plus 13. Let me uh, send this uh, over here, you will have 5X. And what is this going to be? 44 minus 13, that should be 31. X will be 31 divided by 5, that will be 6.2. And Y will be the value of minus 2, answer, plus 22. That will be 9.6. So let me double check if that, that is uh, okay or not. Let me put this back in this equation. 2 times Y, 9.6. Is this value now if you have 6.2 plus 13 that is also the same value so it seems to be fine so D will be the point 6.2 and 9.6 okay and that will be your question in relation to coordinate geometry again if there's anything a step that I missed let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible